Well, good morning. So, just wanted to do a quick little video today. Now, today I'm all dressed up because I had an interview with a uh, company that builds some lock boxes, and the position was for troubleshooting and supporting the system on which those lock boxes run. Pretty interesting stuff. So, uh, let's just get rid of this whole thing and throw the jacket on the studio couch back there. Yeah, <laughs> the studio being my living room. So, uh, well, hope you're all doing well out there. Just wanted to talk real quick about the allegations against all these politicians for sexual harassment and groping and all of this hoopla. Oh, juicy, juicy stuff. Now, I don't know if you know who Al Franken is, but um, he's the guy that back in the 70s, I believe, was uh, was quoted as, as making a derogatory statement about the death of a gay man, how he did not like gays and he was glad that the guy had died. Horrible, horrible stuff, right? Now, there's apparently a photograph of this man groping a woman's breast with, I haven't seen the photograph, but you know, Rush Limbaugh describes it with this leering sneer on his face as he's, <laughs> well, so <clears throat> the reason it's problematic is because they also want to go after, after, um, oh, they also want to go after a couple of Republicans that they're accusing of sexual harassment, except they don't have any evidence that these Republicans actually sexually harassed anyone. They do, on the other hand, have evidence that their guy, this Al Franken, uh, did actually sexually harass people. So, they've kind of got a problem. Now, <clears throat> Al Franken has come out and said that uh, he doesn't respect men who grope women or who behave inappropriately with them. Uh, wait a minute. Is that the same Al Franken that... Uh, cozied up to Bill Clinton for all those years, went with him everywhere he could? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, even after Bill Clinton said, I did not have sex with that woman. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, some uh, level of disdain you have for male sexual predators there, Mr. Franken. Uh, something about your story just reeks to high heavens, and uh, I don't believe you. You shouldn't either. Yeah, don't believe that guy. Now, <clears throat> my point is that all of this slimy, disgusting perversion, all of it, seems to be coming 100% from the left. Hollywood, all these actors caught up in these scandals now. God, Louis C.K., are you kidding? Oh, man, I used to love that guy. I mean, now I don't know what to think because, you know, I'll... I'll reminisce on some of his jokes and start cracking up, but, you know, now that he's actually kind of admitted that he's engaged in this behavior, it's like, oh, man, I can't can't really uh, uh, do anything about it, you know? I mean, what do you do when some of the people that you uh, quasi-admire for their talent turn out to be perverts like this? Uh well, I mean, I guess it's to be expected because he was surrounded in the elitist, liberal, Hollywood, uh, you know, perverse atmosphere. Just an, a, a pervasive atmosphere of perversion. Uh, you know, that, uh, that actor, Corey, whatever his name is, coming out. I can't even like that guy anymore for trying to do what he's trying to do because he wants to make a movie. I mean, come on, Corey, just name some names. Get the police on those people that you say sexually harassed you. Take them to court. Grow a set and do the right thing. Don't make a stupid movie about it. Come on. <clears throat> Don't try and, and capitalize on something so egregiously horrible that it ruined your life and the lives of people around you, including one of your best friends, Corey, and you're going to make a movie about this stuff. 
You know, I, I, I can't get all fired up about this, really, because <laughs> it's just, it's come to be expected. I mean, w a satisfactory outcome for me would have been something along the lines of a paddock. Instead of shooting into a, a crowd of country music concert goers, if he would have just gone to some Hollywood weirdo elitist leftist convention and just shot them all up. You know, shoot the perverts. Why can't that sort of thing happen in this country? Why is it that every mass shooter goes after innocent people? Why is it that that all these people that are going nuts in society today seem to target people that have nothing to do with the point that they're trying to make, okay? Very rarely, very rarely, except that um, that senator's, the Republican senator's baseball game, uh, that guy was obviously making a political statement. Uh, you know, he was a Democrat. He was going after Republicans. Okay, so now that makes sense, right? But for Paddock to shoot country music concert goers makes no sense. For... Well, you know, let's not get into all the other incidents, but God, for once, can't one of these nut jobs target somebody that actually deserves it? Really? Uh, I mean, when is that going to happen? Now, not that I'm wishing that that would happen, it's just, how come it always seems that all the violent nut jobs, all the perverts, all the disgusting people that hate this country, that hate the values that this country was founded on, are all Democrats? They're all on the left. Hey, being an anarchist puts me in a position because I'm, I've got no ties to either party, right? I'm totally outside of it. But it's upsetting to me to see all the perversion, all the disgusting, all the filth, all on one side. Doesn't it disgust you? Now, that's not to say that the Republican Party are angels. Oh, by not by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah, they've got their skeletons in their closet, too. But for some reason, it's just that the worst of the stuff, the worst of humanity, is just oozing out of the left, out of liberals, out of people that, that worship Stalin and Mao and, and Pol Pot and characters like that. I mean, Colin Kaepernick praises Che Guevara who murdered his own citizens, who protested against him just exactly in the same manner, along the same lines, as Kaepernick himself protested. Che just shot him. I, I, it, it boggles my mind that even to Kaepernick, that never occurs to him. If that double standard does occur to him, what, what goes on in his head? Well, the contract with GQ magazine where he's named Citizen of the Year. Yeah, maybe the money that he got from that can, you know, sort of quash over that double standard, that that conflict of interests, or maybe the cognitive dissonance going on in his head, <laughs> if he is smart enough to even have cognitive dissonance. Yeah, I don't think he has the IQ for it. I don't think he has the intelligence to register cognitive dissonance in his own head. Because if he did, he'd probably go crawl off under a rock somewhere and, and never be heard from again. Which is uh, was something that wouldn't bother me one little iota. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Thumb this video up if you liked it. Thumb it down if you dis disagree. Or if you don't think my tie is professional looking enough. And my tie pin here happens to be my family crest. The McCarthy crest. Yes. It's a little, uh, little red stag with gold set of horns and some cream colored background. Anyway, it's good stuff. All right, people, have a good one. I'll talk to you in the next video.